Shut up and sit down. Hello, world. Welcome to our channel, where we take a closer look to anything and everything. Nothing is off limits. This is Everything Electrified with Hibba and James. Hey, James, guess what? What? I have something really amazing to do oh my God, for I this think, week. I think my head's gonna hurt right now. No, wait, you have you don't no. know yet. No, you don't know yet. All right, wait for it, wait for Why? it, wait for it. Why am I looking at your Tesla, though? Well, we're looking at this view for a reason. Yeah. We're looking at it because it won't stay like this anymore. We're gonna Why? do something. Why? Go ahead and pop that trunk open. Go ahead and pop that trunk open and tell me what you well, see. I really have to? I'm kind of afraid. Just try it. Man. What's in the box, Hubba? Go ahead. Try it. You gotta open what's in there. <sighs> wheel, wheel stuff? What, what do we got? What do we got? What is, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is this? What is that? This isn't making me sad right now. What? Oh, man. Yes. What the yes. hell did you do? We're doing it. No. We're no, doing no. it. No, I'm done. No. James, come back. No. We're going to do no. it. These, these suckers got to go. We're going to go ahead and change the taillights this week of this car and see how it looks. All right, guys. So in the box, we're going to have the lower taillights, the door taillights, a green signal wire, a wire harness, and an ECU control box. So you can see that's in here. We do have the tail light here. It comes tinted, which I really like because as you can see, the factory ones are not tinted and these are 100% darker. You can see that the color there. So we'll go ahead and try to show you how to install it. And then you can take a look. If you like what you see, the people at Hanshaw did give me a code for you guys. You get 15% off. Use the code EE Tesla. So that's two E's for everything electrified Tesla and you'll get 15% off. Okay, once you have everything open, make sure you leave your trunk, your frunk, any doors open so you don't disturb the car. We're going to go ahead and power off the car just to be on the safe side. So we're going to go over safety and security and hit power off. Just confirming, sure. In order to get at least half the, the tail light out, you need to remove these this plastic bolt. That's not truly plastic, so you're going to have to use a compression wrench. Just give it a slight turn. I just did here and the rest of the way you just turn out yourself so you're gonna pop out this clip that's sitting right over here and just try to get to it you can use a plastic pry tool and it comes out really easily and I just take this out like here and just work it there you go once you do that you can pull this down a little bit to get to the driver's side and you're gonna pull this out this carpet a little bit when you do that, don't pull too hard. Do you see there's a uh, clip here for the internal lights? You're gonna declip that, that clip. So you wanna get to the tip, it's right here, it's very small, and just get a small pry tool and just help you pull it out. There, boom. That pulls it right out. Pull this down to get to the bolts. They're right here. These are two bolts here. So you're gonna take your wrench and you're gonna get to the bolts here. Once you got the nuts rem removed on this side and took this one out, you just slowly take the light out itself. Actually, um, make sure this is up because this is also being held by it. You're gonna push, push and pry, just play with it, and then you go. If there's a clip right here holding it in place, you're gonna get your fingers to it and you're gonna pop that clip. There you go, clips removed. Now we're ready for the other tail light. Now we're gonna get the new tail light. I'm gonna take the wires that I give you and put it through the hole for now for later installation. Once you have it here, just play with it. Make sure it locks in place, which it does for me because you still have those rubber grommets, right? And then you go in here and you install back the uh, eight millimeter uh, bolts and tighten them in. Put them in 
to lock them in place. Once they're locked in place, and you put the other ones back in, you're gonna go ahead, put the other one here, get that one in place, and tighten them first. Then use your, so your wrench, the eight millimeter socket wrench here, and tighten them up. Don't forget, don't forget your rubber, uh, your uh, plastic grommet that goes on top here. Just go ahead, hand tighten them for now until you get to the bottom. Then you can use the pressing wrench and just tighten it halfway. So this one on the right, on the passenger side, you gotta be really careful for because there are two clips that hold it in place. So it's just, you're gonna have to take some time and pry it out. Once you do, you're gonna hear a pop and they come out. This is what we're talking about. If you look on this side here, this is where they go into. So you just gotta go easy when you pop off this out. That's the only thing you have left on this. All right, so again, you wanna make sure that this goes inside. And then, you're gonna feel it and you're gonna hear the, cl the, the crunch. That's exactly how you're gonna hear it. And then you start putting your bolts back in. Okay, this is the tougher part because this is still connected. So you wanna be really careful as you go along. You're gonna work your way through. You're gonna hear like the clips come off. Make sure you don't lose them because you kinda need them to put the car back. Don't be afraid. If you hear that little crunch, it's gonna happen. Here are the clips that come out. And then over here, you can see the connector. So you're gonna go ahead and take this out. So as you can see, we got lucky. Most of the clips stood on the back panel here. So all I gotta do is put back my only two clips and they're just easy. So when I'm done with the, the trunk, I can just pop it right back into place. So Hibba, as you know, it's not just one tail light. They're two, they're continuous. This is the way they're designed, right? So we gotta remove this off. Once you pull off that plastic piece, as you can see from beneath here, there are clips that you have to come off, similar to what you had at the bottom. So you're gonna pop this down like this, and they're really tight, guys. You got, especially when you just bought a Tesla, they're gonna be really tight. So if you use your pry tool, it comes right out. Once you do that, you're gonna see in here, if you come over here, you're gonna see there's a, a bolt in here. Same eight millimeter bolt that you have from the the bottom half, you're gonna see it's very really long. So you're gonna take a long stem uh, extension like I have here. You're gonna put it into the bolt carefully. You're gonna take it off. Unlike the other one, this only has uh, two. Once you start it off, you wanna use your finger because you don't wanna lose the bolt in here. So you're gonna use your finger to do it. off now that you have it off now it's similar to the other Tesla he headlights they're hold down by clips so you're gonna use your pry tool and you're gonna pry it a little bit get yourself some uh, extensions and then you have to be a little forceful yes it's scary but don't worry it'll come right out same thing see the clips here the clips over here same way, that's how you do it. Unlike the rear tail lights that we had plugged in, as you can see, these have special connectors, right? So Handshow gives you these special connectors. They give you a three pin and a, I wanna show you real quick if I can find it, because we got it all over the place. Four pin, right? Connector. The three pins for 2020 and lower, this is the four pin, that's 2021 or higher. So, you wanna go ahead and connect it over here, like this, sorry, like that. You're gonna feel the click. You just push this downward, that tightens it in. Then you take this wire here, you're gonna put it through the hole, it comes out like this. The one you're looking for is this one. You're gonna connect that over like that. 
you're gonna take your wires and push them down here. Remember the, the rubber grommets that they have to lock these in place? You're gonna go ahead and push this in there. You may have to give it a light tap to lock these in place, but once you do, you could feel it. You can't pull it out again, and then you'll be able to push it in. You're gonna feel this here. If you go below here, you're gonna see all your wires that you need, plus, you're gonna tie that back into place. Again, you want to start slowly, right? You don't want to you don't want to put it into your uh, ratchet first. Just to hand tighten it just for now. All right, guys. So in the rest of the kit, after you installed all your wires, you have this one that goes towards the trunk on the top over there. You have the short wire, a long wire that's going to go on your driver's side, and then the green wire is going to start on your driver's side, and we're going to run it. We're going to channel it through. So on the bottom of your trunk, as you can see the plastic piece, it's very easy, you're gonna pull up. You're gonna pull up on it. As you can see, they're just clipped on, right? After you do that, you're gonna notice there's some more of these push pins. So you take your uh, pry tool, get to the corner and just pop them out. And you work your way out. See, put that to the side. Same thing goes over here. There's one over here too. Boom. Came out easy. Then the wire I just told you about. There's more. Sorry, there's there's actually two more. There's four on here. There you go, all four. You're doing that so you can channel the wire across. That's what you're gonna be doing, right? So you're gonna take the green wire first because it's easier, right? Now once it's all detangled out, you're gonna go to where your driver's side is. And if you remember where the grommet is, you're gonna pop it out from there. So you have it, there you go. That's what that's turned off. And you see, these are very short. It's very easy to do. So. You just move the plastic piece from the top and you're gonna push it in. Like that. And once it's in, you put that in place. Then you're gonna take the long wire, like I told you earlier, and you're gonna connect it to our friend that's over here waiting around. Once you hear that click, there you go. Take some electrical tape, just a small piece, and just tie, tie your wires together. Doesn't, they don't have to look gorgeous, because you gotta remember they're gonna be hitting anyway, but just make them as best as you can. And you keep going from here, and just channel it through. how you can shower those wires in. All right, guys, so we also did, real quick, uh, is to get the, the small wire, the one for the passenger side connected, because there's only one wire connected. It doesn't have a green one. The green one's only on the driver's side. We have that connected in. So we have all our three wires together. Now we're gonna run these wires through this rubber grommet here, because we're gonna put it through this way, all the way through here, and then pull them out this way to feed all these other wires so they can all go in sync. So what you're gonna do is you take your pry tool and open up your rubber grommet. Once you have enough space, you're gonna use fishing wire, which is what this is. And you're gonna fish, which is what this is. I got this from Harbor Freight for like 15 bucks or whatever. And you're gonna tie it, tie it to here and fish them up one at a time. All right, so we gotta pull off the rubber grommet here and a rubber grommet up here, just to, cause we're gonna get the fish these wires straight through. So we use, we're use we using our Harbor Freight wire and you what we're doing is we tie it, don't tie it at tip, you're gonna hurt yourself. Tie it right here. 
and then you manually with another person if you can if you don't have enough person it's gonna be harder uh, you have a small hole the small hole looks like over here I'm gonna try to get the light in there for you because it's getting dark so as you can see one at a time easy easy go does it each one right and once it's fished out it's gonna look like right here yeah all right guys so we had to run through some wires as you know we couldn't put it into the rubber grommet and really it's, it's just so terrible so what we did was we used zip ties and we zip tied them across the, at least the big black wires only because as you get up here you start to see this these wires are so hard to put through we couldn't do it all right guys so in the daytime we just want to show you what we did here we couldn't get this inside it's very very difficult so the way we did it was just to punch a hole in here drag the two wires out and then just zip tie it all the way up here and then we had it going inside here and then we had it going through here but that's the that's another way to do it if you can't get it through here this is very very small and these wires are extremely thick so that would be the one way workaround to this situation okay guys before we continue i just want to mention these wires this is three line wire and then i have a two line wire if you can see one is three one is two the three one has to be on the passenger side and the two one has to be on the driver's side no one explains this online it's not in the instructions or something that we just have to figure out so that's the way it has to be three lines passenger side two lines driver's side time to put our, our connectors back in once you hear that click that's the sound of joy right there i so hope you're freaking happy now i am it I looks am great so depressed <laughs> it looks great you want to do the peel or should i you do it i've been busting my ass all, all right we're gonna do the peel There's that look. It is tinted. These are on the tinted side compared to the regular, which I really do like. And that's how it looks.
All right, guys, so this was the eagle eye taillights from Hanshaw. They were nice enough to give us the Electrified family a 15% off discount code. If you are interested in these taillights or anything else they offer on the website, you can get 15% off from them. Please use our code. It's called EE Tesla. That's double E's tesla get your 15 percent off i absolutely love how they look they make your tesla stand out it looks different i do have a tesla club that i'm a part of and i do take my tesla out to these meets so i can't wait to show all the rest of these guys how different my tesla is and if you want yours can look like this as well if you have any questions or anything you want us to say please leave it in the comments below and i'll go ahead and review them and as always, please go ahead and subscribe, like, and follow us. We have a lot of different videos coming out and more installation and modifications that we're going to do to this Tesla. So make sure you stick around. Until then, see you on the next one.